The human body harbors a remarkable phenomenon that can only be described as miraculous, the brain's incredible capacity to modify and adjust itself. Neuroplasticity, also referred to as brain plasticity, is the brain's ability to change and adapt throughout a person's life. The brain is not a static organ, and its structure and function can be modified by various environmental, behavioral, and neural factors. Neuroplasticity is a vital concept in contemporary neuroscience, as it plays a critical role in learning, memory, and injury recovery. This is why neurographic art is incredibly therapeutic, as it has been found to enhance cognitive function and emotional well-being, as well as significantly reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. The brain consists of billions of neurons that are connected by synapses, and these connections are continually being modified and strengthened or weakened based on the experiences a person has. Synaptic plasticity is facilitated by several molecular and cellular processes, including changes in the expression of genes, the formation of new synapses, and the modification of existing ones. There are several different types of neuroplasticity, each of which contributes to different aspects of brain function. For example, experience-dependent plasticity refers to the changes in the brain that occur as a result of a person's experiences, such as learning a new skill or language. In contrast, developmental plasticity refers to changes in the brain that occur during early development and shape the brain's structure and function. One area of research that has been particularly interested in neuroplasticity is neurorehabilitation. When a person suffers a brain injury, such as a stroke or traumatic brain injury, the brain can undergo significant changes in its structure and function. Neurorehabilitation aims to promote recovery by harnessing the brain's capacity for plasticity and creating new neural pathways to compensate for the lost function. Neurographic art is a form of art therapy that is based on the principles of neuroplasticity. It was developed by Russian psychologist Pavel Piskarev and is designed to help individuals tap into their creativity and promote the brain's capacity for plasticity. The technique involves drawing neuro lines that create abstract shapes and patterns, and then all sharp corners will be rounded off. The rounding off of corners and smoothing out the lines allow energy to flow, like feng shui. The psychology behind rounded corners is rooted in the way our brain processes visual information. Rounded corners are easier on the eyes and the brain because they require less cognitive load to process. Our eyes are naturally accustomed to curves, and rounded corners allow for a smooth transition of visual information, while sharp corners can be jarring and disrupt the flow of visual perception. Rounded corners are also associated with feelings of warmth, trust, and safety. They do not evoke the same sense of caution or danger that sharp corners do. In art therapy, round corners can create a sense of safety, which can be particularly beneficial for individuals who have experienced trauma or are dealing with mental health issues. Additionally, rounded corners are often used in design and architecture to create a more welcoming and approachable environment. They are used in babyproofing, to make sharp edges safe, and even in nature, where everything is round and organic. The act of smoothing out sharp angles in the drawing process serves as a metaphor for addressing and resolving personal problems in life, making the path forward smoother and less burdensome. As you round off the corners in your drawing, you may notice a decrease in stress and an increased sense of ease from your subconscious. This state of relaxation is thought to enhance the brain's capacity for plasticity and increase the likelihood of creating new neural connections. Several studies like a study conducted by researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison as well as by researchers at the University of Wisconsin found that participants who engaged in neurographic art showed significant improvements in working memory and attention and also significant reduction in symptoms of anxiety and depression compared to a control group. In addition to promoting neuroplasticity, Neurographic art can also be used to communicate with the subconscious mind and access deeper levels of awareness and understanding. By creating abstract designs and using the rounding off technique you can access your innermost thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your experiences. To enhance the impact of neurographic art on neuroplasticity, you can incorporate positive intentions and affirmations into the creative process. By visualizing positive outcomes and repeating affirmations, individuals are shaping and changing their brains, 
creating new neural connections, and reinforcing positive thought patterns. Overall, neurographic art is an exceptional and effective tool that can be utilized for self-improvement or by therapists to encourage neuroplasticity in the brain, allowing for access to deeper levels of awareness and comprehension. Moreover, incorporating positive intentions and affirmations into the creative process can enhance the impact of neurographic art on neuroplasticity, helping you to shape and change your brain in positive ways, leading to a more satisfying and meaningful life.